Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. In this episode of Claim Your Excellent Life, I'm going to speak about what is hypnosis and neurolinguistic programming since it's been a really long time since I actually explained what these are. Hypnosis is nothing more than meditation with a purpose, as Julie Griffin, my first hypnosis trainer, explained it. Your brainwaves are slowed down to those of meditation, but instead of concentrating on your breath or a phrase, you are concentrating on the hypnotists and what they are telling you to do. In clinical hypnosis, it's to help you to reach the objectives for which you went to get the help from the hypnotist. Neurolinguistic programming is a form of hypnosis. A lot of hypnotists don't understand this, but they did indeed study Milton Erickson. He was a psychiatrist who taught and did hypnosis for his, well, most of his career, actually. And basically, what one needs to understand is with Milton Erickson, he would blow out the problems by making things really ambiguous. He used a lot of metaphor stories. There was one story that he told that I like to tell regarding a guy who went in to see him to lose weight, and the story he told had to do with teaching him how tomatoes only needed a few things to grow exactly perfectly. Nitrogen in the soil, sunshine and water. And as long as they had just enough of each of those, they would grow. The gentleman goes home and tells his wife that Milton had told him some stupid story about tomatoes, but you know what? Lo and behold, he dropped his weight. Because unconsciously his mind got the meaning of that metaphor. Milton was really, really smart about how to do metaphors. He was also really great with teaching us how to see the signs and symptoms of hypnotism because there are physiological changes that take place when the person is in trance state. In fact, people look through people. They're totally dissociated. Their eyes are bugged out. They don't blink as much. The little lines in their lips actually get much fuller as a result of the blood flow when they're relaxed. Their eyes will blink underneath their shut eyes. And that's actually because they are imagining things in their mind. Their blood pressure will go down. They'll have circular breathing and the face tonality will change a bit as well as getting a little bit redder than normal again because of the blood flow and a few other things. Actually, one of the things that Erickson noticed was the pulse slowing down in the ankles of the ladies he was treating because in those days they wore classic clothes, including hose, very, very, very finely knitted hose where he could see the pulse of the ankles of his female clients. But you could also see it in the necks of gentlemen as well. So neurologist programming is a communication style. And if you think about it, we have five senses and our mind cannot recall all of the sensory data that comes in or we'd be insane. So the unconscious mind does us the favor of deleting a lot of it, which distorts the memories, which is why your memories are going to differ from those in your family and your friends, from things that happened maybe even a few days ago, never mind years ago. And then it's going to shift things in terms of the way that things are remembered understand that your values and beliefs are in your unconscious mind, whether or not you have them conscious or unconscious. These create your internal representations, which is how we envision or remember things in our subconscious mind, which creates your behaviors, which will create, well, how you are in your world. And so what we do with neurolinguistic programming is we shift your internal representations so that they will work for you by reframing your memories so they again work for you, so you can release the traumas, do the forgiveness work, and create a compelling future that is worthy of, well, let's just say a quality of life worth living. 
So they're both hypnotic techniques. One is done in a more wakeful state through language patterns and techniques, and the other one is done in a very relaxed hypnotic state where the brain waves are really slowed down quite slowly, actually. And that's the way that I like to help people to release the trauma of their inner child work and do the forgiveness work for people that have harmed them, things of this nature. So that's what I'm going to teach you about that, very basic stuff. And basically, it's pretty easy to learn how to do it, but it takes a while to learn the artistry involved and how to actually help people heal. And for those of you who are licensed mental health practitioners, psychiatrists, psychologists, and social workers who are sick of working in the medical industrial complex, which is not helpful to you, probably harmful to you with all the stress you are under, and doing quite a bit of damage to your patients these days, and you would like to learn a different way of doing things and get away from that corrupt system, such as it is these days, I'm going to be teaching four people, exactly four people, in a group situation online, how to use hypnosis and linguistic programming in order to help their patients heal. Outside of the medical industrial complex, you can earn a lot more money, and you'll learn from one another and from me how to do this in a mentorship type program. If you're interested in learning more, text me at 781-315-1719. Give me a couple of dates and times and the time zone you're in. I'm in Mexico, so I'm actually mountain time now. And we'll set up a time for you to ask all your questions, and I'll give you the details about what's included, not included, costs, and all that stuff. When we have four people who want to be signed up, that is when we're going to start, and not before then. It is my hope that every person in mental health learns how to use hypnosis and linguistic programming, because that is the way the mind was created to work in the first place. Bruce Lipton talks a lot about this in Biology of Belief in the very beginning of the book. Well, that's all I have for you for this session. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me. Till next time. Bye-bye, all. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, we'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, and maybe even life-altering with the information that we have shared here, and to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A T R E O N as in Nancy, dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A T as in Tom, R E O N as in Nancy, dot com. Where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness as well as other useful free gifts for you.